Living World TV here at Haley Anderson. After night number one, you defended your title in the 500 freestyle, 434. How'd it feel? Uh, it feels better the second time. I'm really excited with it. Uh, it was a good time. It was a good race, so I'm really happy. That 500 was so competitive. You had Schmidt out there. Um, right next to you was Vreeland and Vrooman. A lot of finalists from last year. You led the way through the majority of the 500. What was your strategy? I mean, I was kind of excited that I was leading around, like, probably around the 250. I wasn't really expecting that. Normally I uh, come back faster, so um, I was really excited that I was out fast because that was, that was my goal, to be out fast. Did you feel fatigued at all throughout the race, or did you feel strong all the way through? Uh, I felt pretty strong. Um, I wasn't really... Um, I just had a, a rush of adrenaline, so it was, it was exciting. It came down to the very end. When you touched the wall, did you know you had it? Um, yeah, I knew a little bit. Even though I was really close, I, I thought I had it, So, but I had to check the board. So. Well, you also have the 400 IM and the 1650 to come. Now, 1650, a lot of eyes are going to be on you after your performance in London in the open water. What's your goal going into the 1650? Um, just like the 500, have a good race. Um, I'm excited. Uh, last year I didn't do my best time at NCs. I did it at Pac-12, so I'm excited to do better here. Did you? How much did you guys taper for Pac-12s? Um, a lot of us didn't taper. Um, we are more focusing. There's a group of us that was focusing on NC two A's because we had already qualified. So I wasn't tapered for Pac-12s. I'm just racing. And how about the four AM? Is that is that a more relaxed race for you? Yeah, it, it's a fun one because I don't train it much. Um, I yeah, I hardly ever train IM, so it's more of a fun race kind of. Now your sister was on the pole deck with you last year for Arizona. She's not here this year. Has that made a difference at all? Uh, yeah, I was just talking to her. Um, she's done. It's weird. This is my first NCs without her, um, but I'm really excited for her. She's done swimming, but she she got a job and she moved to Atlanta, so I'm really excited for her. Oh, that's great. So now, when will you make the decision, or have you? This is your last collegiate swim meet. What is the future of swimming hold? Um, I want to keep swimming as of now. Um, do a lot of open water races. I still want to compete. I'll take it year by year, but we'll see. And then... How is this NCAAs compared to years past? Um, it was, I've been trying to think of it as like, I didn't want to put too much pressure on myself, especially how I did in the 500 last year. So I was just trying to take it as like a victory lap, like just have fun with this, this meet. Will you take much of a break after this NCAAs? Um, a little bit, but not much, like a couple days, because I got to get back into it. I have open water nationals coming up in May. All right, great job in the 500. Thank Good you. luck.